Today, the Los Altos Artists bring you a lesson about graffiti art. According to the Tate Museum, graffiti art refers to images or text painted, usually onto buildings, typically using spray paint. Graffiti art has its origins in 1970s in New York when young people began to use spray paint and other materials to create images on buildings and on the sides of subway trains. Such graffiti can range from bright graphic images to the stylized monogram or tag. Graffiti on public spaces is actually illegal and should never be done. However, the graffiti aesthetic has been incorporated into many artists' work. French artist Dubuffet used tags and graphic motifs in his paintings. The New York artists Jean-Michel Basquier and Keith Haring could be defined as street art pioneers. More recently, graffiti artists such as Bansky and Barry McGee have had their work exhibited in commercial spaces. A graffiti tag is the most basic writing of an artist's name. It's simply a hand style. A graffiti writer's tag is his or her personalized signature. Let's make our own graffiti tags. Start by writing your name in uppercase letters. You could also use an inspirational word. Next, add an outline to the sides of each of your lines. You don't have to worry about closing off the tops of the letters at this point. Next, erase the simple lines that you started with to get them out of the way. Now we need to add some interesting shapes to the tips of each of our letters. Use rectangles, arrows, swirls. It's okay if some of your shapes overlap too. Now we'll make our letters look more three-dimensional by shading the left side and the bottom of each of the segments of the letters. Next, color in the letters. You can choose to do a solid color or a gradient. To finish it off, we'll add a force field around the letters and color that in. Have fun making your name out of graffiti or choose an inspirational word. You could even try it with sidewalk chalk on your sidewalk.